Majesty, I must say at once that Brother Papa's arguments have left me entirely uh, unconvinced. <laughs> that the Messiah has come, says the good brother, is proved by the triumph of the church. I assume that means that we are now living in the messianic era prophesied in the Bible. Glory was prophesied and glory is here in the shape of the Pope, priesthood, cathedrals, and mighty rulers, so said Brother Papa. But is this indeed the messianic era? When we read from the Bible in the prophecies of Ezekiel and Zachariah about the coming of the Messiah, what is the obvious thing that strikes us? It is that the coming of the Messiah will make the world a different place. Instead of a world of strife and bloodshed, ceaseless agony and famine and warfare, there will be a world of peace and goodwill. The time of Sabbath, when the swords are beaten into plowshares, the wolf will lie down with the land. And the peace of God will reach into the four corners of the earth. This is the time of the Messiah to which we Jews look forward. When the apparently meaningless agonies of the past will prove to have meaning after all. And true history will begin. And our struggles will prove to have been the birth times of a better world. But what has happened? Over 1,200 years after the birth of Jesus, I look around the world. Is this a world of peace? <clears throat> Have the swords been beaten into plowshares? No. This world is more full of war than ever. And the most warlike of peoples, the people whose fierceness is greater than that of wolves, are the people of Christendom. He blessings. Silence. 